Coach, it uh, sounded like a midnight yell practice out there. Uh, yeah. how, how do you how do y'all get a hold of all that stuff? Heck, I don't know. I don't know where they get all that stuff. I guess I guess YouTube or internet or something. But uh, but that's just what you got to do. You know, if you're going if you're going to go play in, it's nothing better than loud football. First of all, right. you know, I've been in a lot of quiet football games. You talk about boring. Uh, I like loud football. And we have loud football at home every time, and our defense has to be able to play and communicate, and line up, and get the signals, and that's every that's like every week. Uh, so now our offense gets that opportunity. So you try to really prepare them uh, best you can. I mean, you just got to be able to, you know, put them in that situation in practice. So, and we try to make it a little unrealistic, to be honest with you, just so you got to really lock in and focus. And I thought they were great today. I thought we had a really good practice, much better than yesterday. Uh, very focused. Uh, really a good edge on both sides. Uh, had a lot of competitiveness out there today. Finished with a little two-minute drill, but um, you know, uh, tomorrow is a big day for us. And at this point forward, it kind of becomes mental. Um, you know, we're a lot of dot the eyes across the T's tomorrow and clean some stuff up. And load it all up on Friday and head to Texas. I'm sure that you're on the headset, so during the games, what's the loudest that you can remember hearing in the stadium? I mean, right here, at Death Valley. Uh, I've been a part of some loud ones. Uh, and I've been on the road at a bunch of loud ones. You know, been all over the place. I've been been to College Station. It's, it's one of the loudest in the country. Been to LSU, been to Tennessee, Auburn. I've been everywhere. Uh, so, uh, but that's just kind of part of it. To be honest, when you get in the game, though, your headset wise, you're just kind of just really locked into what you're doing. And, uh, but you know, we're fortunate because we do play here, and, and we know what we know what noise sounds like. Uh, and, uh, but again, it's just usually the other side of the ball that's having to function. Sure. Uh, so, Coach, it's been the status quo now. You guys playing at night games, Saturday night prime time. And you guys, you got your regimented patterns, the way you keep yeah. the team in, in, in focus. How do you keep them focused with game day and all that stuff going on that long afternoon? You've done it many times before, but explain to us again, how do you keep that team focused with all that time to up to themselves? Well, we have a, a, a routine. And, and that doesn't change uh, whether you're playing Furman at noon or on game day at night. We have a, a very, the only thing that changes is our game day routine. That's that we have a noon routine, a 3.30 routine, a night game routine. You know, that, that's a little different on game day, but, but everything else is exactly the same. We don't do anything different. And I think that creates confidence and consistency in, in your performance and your preparation. So, uh, and, and I think that's the biggest thing. But uh, the rest of it is just, you know, you try to teach as you go. And, and you got a bunch of guys that have kind of been there. And if you got a really young team, you know, you really got to really take some time and make sure they understand uh, that, again, the same things that went at home went on the road. Uh, when you have a veteran team, you remind them of what it takes. And, and then you, you lean on them for some good leadership in the locker room. So. Uh, we're fortunate that we got, we got a veteran team, and that's really last year. I told last week I told you guys I want to see a team that was ready and excited and focused to play, and, and looked like we had actually practiced uh, and and not slop around. Uh, and this week I want, to, I want to see a team that shows some poise and some leadership, and some maturity. You know, because I think we've got all those things, and uh, I want to see us go do that. And so I mean, we're playing a great team. And regardless of what the score is, I mean, you know, we, heck, they may be better than us. I don't know. Uh, we're going to find out. But I want to see a team that, that plays with some maturity and plays with some poise and doesn't go out there and, and you know, do stupid things that hurt yourself. Uh, let's play. Let's play, uh, like I said, with great poise and, and effort and focus. Coach, uh, in these road games, special teams and, and turnovers are so critical. Um, does the fact that you were plus two in the turnover margin and nearly perfect on special teams last Saturday make you that much more optimistic? Well, it's just one game. You know, I hope that can, I hope we can, you know, put a trend together and, and we can become a team that's consistent, consistently wins the turnover margin. Uh, I know when we win our turnover margin, since I've been the head coach, our record's pretty good. Uh, so I hope we can be one of the better teams in the country this year. You know, we won a national championship with a negative turnover margin. So. You know, I mean, that's not the that's not the end all be all, but I sure like them odds uh, a lot better when you win it, and so hopefully that can become a good um, identity of this team. Uh, you know, a team that wins that margin, you know, relentless to get the ball, relentless to take care of it, and then a team that um, 
you know, attacks you in special teams. Injury wise, a little health, uh, healthy. Going yeah, into yeah, this we're, game. yeah, we are, we are, we are, uh, you know, pretty healthy. And I actually forgot last week, uh, but we don't have to release the injury report anymore. And I, I was kind of in, I was kind of in, I was kind of in nine year mode uh, last week, and uh, I didn't think about it until after the fact. But we, you know, we don't have to do the injury report anymore. We were the only conference that did it, which I didn't know. Uh, so I'm not going to give out an injury. Used to, uh, I, would, I think I'd tell y'all we were questionable, probable, predictable, uh, reliable, whatever, uh, MIA. But but I'm, I'm going to get away from all that uh, just simply because we don't have to do that uh, unless we got some you know obvious long-term type of deal or something like that. But, uh, but to answer your question, yeah, we're we're a pretty healthy football team. Uh, you know, going into it. Yeah, though, great to come wrong, but it seems like in recent years you've all done a really good job of stopping horizontal stuff, whether screens or speed sweeps or, or uh, a quick game. What are the key ingredients to that in your mind, and, and, and how big of, of a factor is having yeah. two defensive ends who are, like, who are so long and you can get in the... Yeah. Well, first of all, it's, it's great film study and preparation. It's, it's, you know, defensive football is formation, recognition, and strategic situation, you know. So it's, it's 